everyone, it's Lisa. Thank you for joining me again. I'm still puttering away at our Jane Austen journal and I'm, I'm not doing anything crazy in this video. I'm just um, crafting along as I'm thinking through what I wanna do and working on some things. I did do a couple of things off camera, nothing that's um, real ingenious or anything. I'll just show you what I did. And I did finally make a little tag to go inside the, the pocket of the first signature. And what I did was I used the Kathy Holden, um, what is this one called? Flea Market Fresh. And I just cut out some of the pieces of the fabric and then um, laid that down on the tag. And I think it's super cute. Um, the tab is just something that I had in my stash from a journal that I did, a ferns and mushrooms journal that I did long ago. So that's what that is. And I backed it with um, a blank piece of old music paper that's just got some yummy age to it. So that goes in there. And I did do a couple of other things. Let's see here. <clears throat> Pardon me. All right, I know I did. Here, I just, um, with this, this is just a piece of scrapbook paper on um, file, a manila file folder. And then this is a piece that I made in a video a while back using um, book images that otherwise I wouldn't use. And now I absolutely love it. So that is on there. And then this is just one of the journaling cards from the kit back with um, um, scrapbooking um, cardstock. What else do I have in here? I know there's, oh, this, I just took one of the envelopes from the kit. And again, I fussy cut out a piece of the um, Kathy Holden mix, or why do I, oh, <laughs> I just wanna call it mixed media fresh. I don't know why. Um, probably because I was just watching another video about mixed media stuff, but this is from Flea Market Fresh, Kathy Holden's Moda Fabric, and another one of the journey, journaling cards in here. So that's just a simple way to embellish an envelope, and this is one of the pieces also from the ephemera in the kit, and I just glued along here up to about this line here so that it's a a wonderful tuck. I think that looks so pretty. Love how the blue plays off her dress. And then the greens picks up the green there. Yummy. I thought there was one other thing, but I maybe. Oh, <clears throat> so he, that brings us to what we're going to be working on. So this is a pocket that I made using pressed flowers from Amazon. Um, a while ago, and I'm just going to use a tag from the kit as well, set that aside, and prep this for the journal. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew around the edges of that, and she's so beautiful, and the background's already beautiful. I don't think it needs any more embellishing than that. We'll, we'll take a look, see how I feel about it once I get it on the paper. Again, I'm using the uh, old music paper for backing. It's so yummy. I'm gonna use like every little scrap of it. <clears throat> I don't know why I have this frog in my throat. I had a headache earlier after work and lay down on the sofa and fall asleep. So let's see here. There's my card. My trusty card. I had to go on the road today for work and it was such a beautiful day for a drive. Just really pretty. <clears throat> I see a part that I think stuck to my finger too much and the glue didn't stay. 
on it, so I'm just going to give it a little dab. And scissors. I'll just cut around this. Panta, I mailed your package off. Hopefully you're you're watching this. It was <laughs> it was kind of a feat to mail it. I sent my husband first to our local post office, and we live in a very small town where the post office is only open until noon every day. Or Monday through Saturday, I should say, not every day. But I sent my husband, He and I asked him if he would mind going to the post office for me, and he didn't mind. Well, I should have first told him that it was an overseas package, number one. <laughs> number two, I never thought that our small little um, post office was so... I guess inept. They don't know what they're doing. Um, so he gets there and he's trying to do his best for me, you know, and the lady had to finally tell him that she did not know how to do overseas packages and um, she was going to have to send him elsewhere. <laughs> so <laughs> he came home all disgusted about it. Uh, well, what are you going to do? I guess she was an older lady, and maybe it's the computer and such that just wasn't her thing. This is kind of a big hole mark here, so I'm just kind of going around multiple times with my hole punch. Hmm. Let's see. This is going to take a little ingenuity. But I did go into our neighboring town today, which I had to do anyway to pick something up and went to our post office there. And I, I do like going to that post office. There's a man that works there and he's just the nicest man. I guess that's okay. Um, he's the nicest man in the post office is actually in the town that I grew up in. And it's this old building. I, I would love to find out when it was built because it has the coolest woodwork inside. And when you go up to the window, it's this old fashioned kind of window. I just, I love that building. So I need to find out when it was built just to satisfy my curiosity. And I hope they never tear it down. I mean, even if someday the post office has to move, fine. But would it have to move or could it be repurposed? That's a big no. Why do, do I want to see if a label will go here? Let's see. Hmm. I'm, all my labels. Oh, I kind of forgot about these. Let's take a look at these. Actually, that might be kind of cute. Maybe that's all it needed. Well, isn't that just as cute as a little button? That one, do I want Grace or that? Well, I didn't need to go and confuse things, do I? <laughs> so, Panta, your package is on its way to you. Sorry it took me longer than I planned on. But with 
college coming up here and other things going on at home. It's just, whew. Things seem to get away from you sometimes, don't they? Yeah. This is just a label where I used a stamp with some pink ink and stamp the background of it with some uh, like a second punt or second punch second stamp and then stamp the words word grace on it and I think they turned out really cute she's pretty graceful anyway so maybe it was just all meant to be all meant to be for a pretty lady This is the ribbon that I got from my Gypsy General store package. I love this color so much. I like using ribbon that already looks crinkled because it just adds to it looking old. Okay, this will get, flat, get flattened in the book. So there our lovely lady is all ready for her journaling. The other thing that I thought I would do, tuck her back in the book, <clears throat> is, I'm just not sure where, maybe right here. This is a piece that I cut off of a scrap that I just thought was too pretty and it makes just a perfect little tuck there. So I think we will do that. I'm gonna use my Fabri-Tac for that. It's already inked in everything. It was just sitting there waiting for us. So for a tuck, you just glue two sides. Pretty, pretty. This whole journal is coming together so pretty. Do I like that in there? You know what? I kind of do. Looks very vintage. Okay. <laughs> um, this scrap may work. Is it wide enough? Well, we can just shave a little bit off and we will be golden. I want to sew around this one too. I think I do. And there's my box of tabs. Here's how I keep a lot of my little pieces of things. What color tab do I want to use on this one? Ooh, you know what? Since it's going where this is, maybe. Do I want to use that on there? I think I do we're going to do for that. It works really good. <clears throat> it does, it does. I think I'm going to wait and ink after. It's not playing nice. <laughs> and I need it to play nicely. Where's my... Why am I always... I feel like I'm forever looking for this thing. <clears throat> okay. So I'm not, as you notice, I'm just going through. I am not 
sewing things right away. So I'm not gonna put you through that. I'm gonna sew everything in one shot and it's just kind of more efficient that way as well. I've got this a little crooked. And so I won't put the tab on this. I'm going to ink it, but I won't put the tab on it until after I've sewn. And I'm just going to sew a little straight stitch around the edges. I think this looks like an image that Jane would have liked. What do you think? Thanks for those of you who are following along with the Jane Austen series. I hope you're finding it enjoyable. Hope you're fi ficking, picking up a few, <laughs> a few tips. <laughs> oh, my stars. Welcome to my migraine days and what I'm like. Not that it's much different any other day. Oh, such is life. This week is flying along. Tomorrow is already Wednesday. I'm filming this on Tuesday. This will go in here like so, and then that will go on top there, and I think it all ties it in really, really nicely. Okay, so that's that piece. Now, the other thing that I wanted to start working on, let me get this out of the way, is I had, I have half of an idea, <laughs> not a full idea. I have this um, Tim Holtz ideally, ideology collage paper and this is some painter's masking paper uh, I think I got this off Amazon I've had it for quite a while I love using it number one one of the things I love is the weight of the paper and the crinkle that it gives it but for this particular project I thought the green would go really wonderfully with the colors in this digital kit so I wanted to do a little flip up kind of journaling thing that, let's see here, I could put over a horizontal belly band. Or do I want to do this as like a trifold? So this was part of the part I couldn't decide. So rather than over contemplating this, I'm just going to guesstimate at how much paper I need just to let you know about what I'm taking. I'm taking about now I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to clean this edge up but in counting that edge I'm taking about 24 inches so by the time I clean it up it's gonna be about 23 inches. And then you know I'm gonna to have to clean up both sides once I get going and I'll probably sew on this piece too. Let me get this out of the way before it creates havoc. <coughs> okay, so then I'm just going to roughly cut this for now. Actually, the, the um, paper cutter's right next to me. I'm going to quick turn and clean that up. Actually, second thought, or is this third thought by now? I'm just going to fold this, and then I will cut them both the same. So then I've got my edge clean already. Rather than making life difficult, I'm going to make it easy for a change. <clears throat> and before I even do that, <laughs> I am going to... 
glue these together. Otherwise, if I cut it, it keeps wanting to curl and it's just making it super difficult. So until I sew it, I'm just going to tack it down a little bit so it stops bugging me. There, this will be better. This will be better. Better already. Trusty card out again. So now we have our piece like thus, and then I want to go like thus, and I'm just basically making this up as I go along. Highly technical. <clears throat> Highly technical crafting going on today. So I think if I go like that, where's my page? Make sure I'm not getting too. Hmm, we might be a little too wide, folks. So let me just keep thinking here. And then I will fold it over like that. So let's check length. Okay, I'm gonna, I, I got a little too crazy. One thing you'll no notice about me is I cannot judge measurements. Can't do it. Four inches wide by just a smidge over 10 inches long. And the smidge is technical too. You knew that though. The guy that put our, our dock in, oh my gosh, we laughed so hard. He's a really young guy. Um, he's probably younger than my oldest son and he's 30, but this, I give this kid a lot of credit. He and his wife have started their own um, dock sales and they um, put docks in and all of this. But they have other jobs and they this is how they spend their evenings and weekends doing this. And she too helps him do this and they are hard workers. So I give them all the credit in the world and when they were putting our dock in, um, he said something to her about moving something just to tickle. And we were like, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Just to tickle? I've never heard anybody say that before. Now, some of you probably have. I hadn't around this area, and I grew up around here. So, and then from such a young guy to say something like that, it's not something I would have expected. So, <laughs> he's just a funny dude. His wife is the sweetest thing. But I so give them credit at their work ethic and they built their first home recently and I don't think they've been married that long. Um, they're just working hard at beginning their lives together and kudos to them. Kudos to them. So before I know it, day for us to go wedding dress shopping for my son's fiance is going to be here and I'm so excited. It's going to be so fun I think because she's so stinking pretty and she's so thin and she has this, she has been blessed with the most beautiful porcelain complexion and She's going to make every dress look wonderful, so I don't know how on earth she's ever going to pick. 
at knowing her. She knows in her head about what she wants, and she usually you know, just kind of stays the course with what she's looking for and knows what she wants. She just, did I say this in a video earlier? This is kind of a problem I'm talking. Um, she is an artist and does um, web design and stuff. Well, she um, did some art for the Madison Ballet and they're, they're hanging her art there and it's amazing. That she has just that even the vision to do what she does. I wouldn't even have the vision. Okay. How am I gonna cut this straight? I tell you what I'm gonna do. And this Use my craft knife. It's so quiet in the house all of a sudden. What happened to everybody? <laughs> Did my husband leave me? <laughs> okay. I want to leave it kind of framed. Making sure I've got it all lined up evenly. So I'm not disappointed by anything. Nope. Never pull up your ruler right away because chances are you have to go over things a second or a third time. It's just so hard cutting this light tissue this way. Okay, so that's that. Oh, please tell me I can see my mark here. And I can't. Great. There it is. Is that it? Oh, for heaven's sake. mark off or something. Why do I not see it? Oh well, let it go. Lisa, let it go. Y'all probably saw what I did. I probably biffed somehow. You're all going, oh my gosh, woman. I was just being too wimpy with it before. Let me put this away before I have an episode. And I do save these little scraps because you just, I always seem to find a place to put them if it's even as I'm making little spreads in my own journal. Whoops, what did I hit? Oh. oh, never fear, can be fixed. But I've got to be a little more careful than I'm being. I 
just feel like this glue won't glide that easily. It's crooked, it's crooked. And that's cool. Here, I just lay it kind of flat so I'm not putting it in an angle to tear this pretty collage paper. And then on this, I thought I could use, let's see, do I want to grab out a couple? I'm grabbing my tags. And these tags are from Mad Paper Crush. I want green or not that? Too big. Maybe. Green or. Hmm. Or red. Red or green? Hmm. Hmm. I think green. Oops. Dropped one. Save it for later. Put these guys back. Or, we could call it something like this. These, I believe, are Tracy Fox labels. You know what? I like that better right out of, right away I do. <clears throat> so, there we have it. Yep. And I don't think it needs much more than that because this is so pretty. But what I will maybe do is to put a little trim on there. So hold that thought. I'll be right back after I grab some trim. Either this trim, which might actually be too small. Or... Yeah, I think this one's too small, but it's so pretty. Um, or I haven't used this one yet. Whoops. It's not coffee dyed, but it's so stinking cute. Look at that. Oh, that might go nicely with um, some of the lace in the journal. You know, I might go with that. So far, that's a contenda. That's a no. And then there's this one, which, again, I don't think this is it. No. I'm feeling this one. Okay, I'm going to clean up this edge here. Ooh, it's kind of hard to cut. Is that my scissors? I wonder. Yeah, the scissors are getting a little, a little ugh. They're they're getting tired. And here I go. What's front? What's back? Who knows? Let's see. That's back. It just feels more right. Cute though. Mm -hmm. 
done. I'm going to try these other scissors. I wonder if those other ones are just... No? There we go. The other ones have cut so much paper and glue, maybe, maybe they just need to live a good long life in retirement. That could be. I would squish it too fast before the glue has had a chance to even get to the bottom. Is it weird that I kind of like the smell of Fabri-Tac? I know a lot of people really dislike it. And I think at first I did. But I must have gotten used to it. There we go. Glue this little buddy down. Anybody else need it? This little fella does. There. And that all will dry clear. So let's put our label on. I wonder if this, some of these I printed on sticker paper. Some I did not. And then this one might be not. Although, gosh, it really feels like I did. I don't think so. Huh. I would swear I did. Next time I really got to separate the ones I did and didn't print on sticker paper because I can't tell you how often I've done that. I'm just knocking down the white edges. So you can see it's been cut. just tucked it under part of the lace of the flower there I like that now let's glue that bad boy down okay so there's that and then what I will do is whoops I'm going to put um, journaling cardstock in there and I'm looking for one that's the right color palette. Let's see what we got in here. Because I don't want to use manila file folder that just looks too obvious. Like that. That's kind of neat, but to write on it might be a little, a little difficult. This might be fun. Let's see what else is in here. This is fun. You, oh, you can't even see most of it. If I use part of this, that will go, the colors will go really nicely. Let's go for it. Ooh, here we go. doing that. Okay. These are pieces of um, scrapbook paper that I normally don't use in a journal anyway because something with a border just usually doesn't work. So what I will do is cut off the edge here because I can use that for trim for something else and then I'll just use this. 
So that's done. And then let's measure how big these inner pieces need to be. I'm going to say, ugh. no, I'm not going to say, ugh, but <laughs> I'm going to say, oh, let's see, it's four wide. So if I go three and three quarters by, by four and three quarters, three and three quarters by four and three quarters. Okay. Oh, I really like that color with it. All right. So let's distress. A little more ink. But I just love the texture of this masking paper. It is so yummy. It's definitely one of my favorite supplies. Another thing I've not used in a long time, surprisingly, is wax sandwich bags. I love wax sandwich bags because I'm all about the crinkle. And that has excellent crinkle. When you put an image behind it, it looks so cool. So I know a couple of you have commented that you've been watching as you're crafting along. Let me know what you're working on. It doesn't even have to be a journal. I'm just curious what everybody else is doing. Are you making a quilt? Are you making cards for relatives? Are you already working, being smart and working on Christmas things? I can't go there yet. Kudos to those who already start doing the Christmas in July thing because they're the folks that are all ready for the holidays and aren't waiting until the last minute. I can never even get gift ideas from my family oftentimes. Golly, sometimes two weeks ahead of time I'm still trying to get ideas. And when you have boys versus girls, I think it's harder. Our family, well, it had just been mom and I as the only girls, but now we have Olivia. She's helping to even things out a little bit. <laughs> okay, so again, I'll be sewing this. I'm not sure what I want to do with the back. Hmm. Just we'll leave that for journaling. And then maybe with the back. Do I want to just leave it? I think I do. Then if somebody somebody could still write on here and it's firm enough. But you could write on there easily. But that turned out cute. And when I sew around it, it will even look more finished. So I think maybe really quick what we can do, I say, we'll see if I can do it quickly. Um, I don't really have anything in this last signature yet. So maybe what I'll do is put this like right here and what do I want to use for a belly band? Let's go for this paper. And how, how wide do I want it? Maybe about there. 
So actually what I ended up doing is cutting this one, two, about three and a half inches wide. And I have an idea, but let's see. This time I made the mark so I could see it. Yeah. So what we'll do is just fold this over. doesn't work now. I'm going to be so bummed with myself. It should work. Cute. And that thought. <clears throat> okay, there's that. I feel like I can't. The paper's already nicely aged. See where I'm going with this? So we're gonna make a journaling belly band. And I wanna put a little trim on this. Let's make our trim matchy matchy. Cause right now I'm in love with this trim. Look at how pretty that is against this aged look of the paper. Such pretty things in our world make me happy. It's just this trim I'm having a hard time cutting. I don't know. Okay, I'm trying to hurry and finish up because I know this is getting a little long. glue because I can more precisely add glue in here. Come on. And the reason why I like our glitter glue is, well now it's not even sticking, but it, it works so quickly. I wonder if it's this paper that it's not. I'm gonna come back in with the fabric tack. It's just not adhering, which I don't think is the glue. I'm wondering if it's the glue and how it's reacting with the paper because this is not how art glitter glue typically acts. Huh, that was interesting, huh? can hear my husband downstairs putting his dogs to bed for the night. He had a busy day on the road too. There. Ugh, stuck in my fingers. Fireworks again going. Um, let's see. Yep, I can still do that. I'll 
be able to see this a little bit, so I'm still going to do it this side. Yep. See if the art glitter glue works now. <clears throat> okay, let's see if I can get this centered on here. I better quit while I'm ahead here at the dropsies. And hold it down till I know it's stuck. Make sure it's straight. So what I'm going to need to do is to let this dry. So I'm not going to slide the book in behind it while we're on camera here. Um, let me just make sure that's not sticking to it. And then... This will go back behind it like so. Cool, huh? That is fun. All right. So that will be that page then. So I'm going to let this dry. And I thank you for joining me. I hope you have a fantastic day. And I'll see you next time on Junk Journal Gems.